Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to convert a Cisco PoE switch to a long-run PoE switch in this video. The client is doing a project. He needs to install 40 IP cameras in the shopping mall. There are four cameras in the parking lot with the long distance. The length stay between 200 meters and 400 meters. Based on the specification of the Cisco PoE switch, it only can reach 100 meters. The thing is the owner doesn't want to change his Cisco PoE switch. He wants to maintain the Cisco brand in his control room. We are going to use this PoE extender to extend the PoE network from the Cisco PoE switch. Now let's get started. First, let's see what we have in the rack. This is the network video recorder. The network video recorder is connected to this Cisco PoE switch 2960. There are two data ports. The network video recorder is connected to one of these data ports. Totally, we do have 24 PoE ports from this PoE switch. We will pick four PoE ports and extend the PoE up to 400 meters. On the top, we have the PoE surge protector. As we know, the longer the cable, the more chance this copper cable can absorb the surge. And the surge can travel to this end. Eventually, it could damage our PoE switch. I think this PoE search protector can cancel the search from the cable and release the search to the ground. I'm going to use one pair of this PoE extender to extend the network. Since we do have four PoE ports, totally we need four pairs of PoE extender. I will explain why we need one pair just a bit. Now let me install one of these PoE extender in the rack. There's input port and output port. The tricky thing is, we need to put the input port facing the camera. That's very important. And we will connect this output port to our PoE standard. All right, this is the rod mount bracket. Let me mount this PoE standard to the, this rock. And I need short patch code to lean the input port from the output port of the search protector. This search protector will deal with the search from the cable going to the camera. So if there's search from the outside, then the search protector will take the impact and they can cancel the search and release the search to the ground. So the input for the search protector doesn't mean the signal input. It just means the cable could come with the search and the output is the signal clean signal. So we have the clean signal go to the input port of our the PoE extender, then we connect this output port to our PoE switch. So I need second patch code to connect this output port to our PoE switch. All right, this is set up for one set of the PoE extender. I'm going to complete the three set. I've completed the setup for other three PoE ports. The configuration is pretty much the same. We have the PoE search protector and the PoE extender. Just want to remind the input port should deal with the cable going to the camera and the output port will connect to our PoE switch. This is the cable going to the camera. We have 500 meters CAFI Ethernet cable. I use this copper to change one row of 300 meters and one row of 200 meters to get 500 meters. Let's connect this camera, this cable to our camera. Here we've got outdoor PoE search protector. Since we don't know which direction the search could travel to, it's better to put two search protectors in each link to cancel the search. First, let's connect this cable to this input port. This is the ground path. It will release the search to the ground. Then we got the output port with the clean signal. Now we need a second PoE extender. There's input port and output port. Now there's no need to flick input and output. The input will deal with the cable coming from the PoE switch. I'm going to use this short patch code to link this output port to our PoE extender. Now just one last step. Use this short patch code to link the output port to our camera. 
That's the whole setup for one lint. Now why we need two PoE standards? The reason is the TCP IP network is the two-way communications. We need two PoE standards at both ends to come up the 500 meters continue run so they can talk to each other. Before we explain other things, let's just run a quick test to watch the live video from this camera. I have connected this computer to this Cisco PoE switch. Now let's use this PC software to test the live video from the camera. The camera is live, let's check it. It is working perfectly. I want to point out one thing is the power budget. This Cisco PoE switch can output 15.4 Watt. It can supply enough power for the camera within 100 meters. But now we have a standard PoE never up to 400 meters. The PoE standard cannot repeat the power since the power is the energy. Simply it repeats the data. So if we turn on the infrared on the camera, we probably will see this PoE switch reboot that PoE port since it cannot surprise enough power for the camera. The solution is we can use the PoE plus PoE switch to output 30 watt power from this single port then it has enough power for the camera. If you're using the large PTZ camera, you probably need PoE plus plus PoE switch which can output 60 watt or 90 watt. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post a message in the comment section below.